Welcome to today's video, in which we'll look at conceptual frameworks, and how to develop them for your research. Variables, relationships, and visual representations will be covered, with examples from science, business, and the humanities. Let's get started. A conceptual framework, is a diagrammatic display that aids in understanding the links, or relationships, between or among variables in your research. It is an essential component of your research process, since it directs your literature review, hypotheses, and data analysis. Let's start with variables. A variable is any characteristic, or property, that can take on different values, or categories. There are several types of variables, including independent, dependent, moderating, mediating, and extraneous or control variables. The factors you manipulate in your study, or expect to have influence on other factors in your study, are known as independent variables. The outcome or outcomes of your study, are the dependent variable or variables. The relationship between independent and dependent variables, is influenced by moderating variables. Whereas mediating variables, explain how, or why, this relationship exists. Control or extraneous variables, are those that may have an effect on the relationship between the independent and dependent variables, but are not the focus of your research. Now that you have identified the different types of variables, it's time to classify them depending on your research questions. Let's analyze three instances from various fields. You may study the influence of fertilizer on plant growth in a science experiment. The amount of fertilizer, is the independent variable. Plant growth, is the dependent variable. And the amount of sunlight each plant receives, might be a control variable. In a business study, you may investigate how marketing budget influences sales, while controlling for customer satisfaction. The independent variable, is marketing budget. The dependent variable, is sales, and the moderating variable, is customer satisfaction. In a humanities research project, you may look into the relationship between social media use and mental health, with self-esteem acting as a mediator. Social media use is the independent variable, mental health is the dependent variable, and self-esteem is the mediating variable. Once your variables have been selected, you should undertake a literature review to determine the existing relationships between them. This will aid in the refinement of your research questions, and the development of your hypotheses. Create a graphical depiction of your conceptual framework, that shows the likely relationships between or among the variables. Use arrows, to show these relationships. Unidirectional arrows, point from the independent variable, to the dependent variable, showing a one-way relationship. Bidirectional arrows, represent a reciprocal relationship, in which both variables influence one another. Finally, Compose a narrative that describes your conceptual framework, including the variables, their relationships, and the logic behind your assumptions. In this study, we look at how deforestation affects local temperature, precipitation, and biodiversity. The independent variable, is deforestation, which has a direct impact on local temperature, precipitation, and biodiversity. Soil quality operates as a mediator, connecting deforestation to the dependent variables. We also evaluate the season's moderating effect on these relationships. The conceptual framework demonstrates how deforestation, soil quality, and season, interact to affect local temperature, precipitation, and biodiversity. In this psychological study, we investigate the function of social support, in the relationship between stress and mental health, as well as how self-esteem modifies this process. The independent variable, that influences mental health and social support, is stress. Social support functions as a mediator, helping to clarify the link between stress and mental health. Self-esteem acts as a moderator, altering the strength of the link between stress, social support, and mental health. In this educational study, we investigate the influence of technology integration on student success and motivation, taking into account the moderating effect of teacher expertise, and controlling for school resources. The independent variable, technology integration, has a direct impact on student achievement and motivation. Teacher expertise moderates the relationship between technology integration, and the dependent variables, while school resources act as a control variable, potentially influencing technology integration. In this public health study, we evaluate the influence of health literacy on medication adherence and health outcomes in chronic conditions. 
we also investigate the moderating influence of socioeconomic characteristics and the mediating role of patient provider communication. The independent variable is health literacy, which influences both medication adherence and health outcomes. The association between health literacy and the dependent variables is explained by using patient provider communication as a mediating variable. Socioeconomic factors influence or moderate the strength of the relationship between health literacy, medication adherence, and health outcomes. In this marketing study, we investigate the impact of online advertising on consumer purchase behavior and brand loyalty, while controlling for economic conditions. We also investigate the mediating role of advertising message relevance, and the moderating role of consumer demographics. Online advertising is the independent variable, influencing consumer purchase behavior and brand loyalty, both directly and indirectly via advertising message relevance, which acts as a mediator. Consumer demographics play a moderating role in the strength of the association between online advertising and the dependent variables. Economic conditions are seen as a control or external variable, potentially influencing online advertising, consumer purchasing behavior, and brand loyalty, but are not the primary focus of the study. Let's quickly go over what we have discussed today. We talked about categorizing variables based on your research questions, including independent, dependent, moderating, mediating, and control or extraneous variables. We also looked at the value of literature reviews in identifying the relationships that already exist between variables, and how to develop a visual representation of your conceptual framework with arrows to show links. Last but not least, we stressed how critical it is to write a narrative that explains your conceptual framework and the logic behind your hypotheses. We appreciate you being here today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth information. Please feel free to ask any questions or offer any recommendations in the comments section below. That's all for now.